Joe James, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Linux find command. This should work pretty much universally across all versions of Linux. Very useful function for finding files inside Linux. So we are logged in as root. We're going to change into the etc directory. And we'll do a simple find right here. And basically that's going to kick us back every single file and every directory in every subdirectory of etc. So it's recursive. So it's digging deep and it's finding a lot of stuff. It does it quickly, but there's a lot of stuff there. Look. So if you want to narrow down our search some, so let's do an ls. It'll show the directory of the current of etc. Let's say we want to do a find only in a certain directory. We want to find all the files and subdirectories of the LVM directory. We can do dot slash LVM. That shows us everything inside LVM. And recursively, you can see some of these are inside the profile directory under the LVM directory. And if we want to limit the depth of our search, we can do a find dash max depth of two. That finds things only two directories deep or less. Right? You don't see any long directory structures here. We can also do a min depth. So if we do find dash min depth of two, or let's change that to three, then it'll only find things with very long directory structures. So things that are at least three directories deep. Now if we want to find certain file names, we can do find dash name, and then we use quotations. We can use this wildcard if we want. Uh, let's say star.txt if we want to find all text files. Wow, there's not much there. Then let's say if we want to find only files or only directories, we can do a find-type f will only find files, or dash d would only find directories. So these are all directories inside the etc directory. Then if we want to find, um, let's say, only files that start with s, find dash name, and then in quotes we put s star, and it'll find every file that starts with an s. So you can see these are all file names that start with s. Now if we want to find all files except ones that start with an s, we could do uh, find uh, not dash name, quote, s star. That lists everything except files that start with s. So we can have a not. We can also use the dash not operator. Let's find dash not dash name s star. This will do the same thing as the exclamation point. But let's say we want to use the um, we want to use an or function. So we want to find things that are. Let's bring up the uh, current directory. We want to find all files that are either in the init dot slash init or dot slash lvm. So it'll find all files in either one of those two folders. So this is really an and operator. lvm and init. So you don't actually have to type and. But with or, so let's say we want to find files with uh, dash name star dot php or we have to use a dash o. So this can meet either one of these two criteria. Dash name star dot txt and end quote. Ah, oh, geez, there's only two. There are no uh, PHP files. Another thing that's useful is to be able to ignore case. So we can um, find dash i name, which ignores case. So let's say uh, star dot txt. Let's do conf. That shows us all the configuration files that have conf in any case, up or lower case letters. Now another important option of the find function is being able to find files when they were accessed or changed or modified within a certain time frame. So there's really only three things you can need to get out of this slide. The first one is A is for access, C is for change or status change, and M is for modified time. Right? Those are all just times. And min is for minutes and time is for days. So minus five is within the past five minutes or less than or equal to five minutes ago plus five means more than five days ago in this case time so plus five minus eight means less than or equal to eight minutes ago or in the past eight minutes plus seven here means greater than or equal to seven days ago 
So within the past week, or not in the past week. And if you don't put a plus or minus sign, then it means exactly. So if we just say a min of five, that means accessed exactly five minutes ago. Let's see some of these functions in action. We'll try find modified within the last 60 minutes. And we can see a handful of things here. And if we want to say um, modified within the last 60 days, we can change this to time. We'll get a much longer list of stuff. Then for our dash size option, we can specify either at least or at most files of size in bytes, k bytes, megabytes, or gigabytes. And these are case sensitive, so it's important to note that both C and K are lowercase, and both M and G are uppercase. So plus means at least, and minus means at most in the size. So a few examples here. Plus 100 C is going to mean greater than 100 bytes. Minus 10 K means less than 10 kilobytes. Plus 2 M greater than 2 megabytes. Minus 2 G is less than 2 gigabytes. So we have a plus and minus operator. We have a size and then we have the unit, C, K, M, or G. So let's look at some examples. These are all small files. And if we want to find big files, we can do a find dash size plus, let's say, 2M. And we can see there are only two files that resulted from that. So policy.24 and policy.current are large files. Another useful function, we can print the results of our find to a file. Let's do a really complicated find here. Let's say we want to find type file, and we want to find files that start with B. The file name starts with B, and it's not case sensitive, so we say I, ignore case, and size of 100 KB or greater. And then we use this dash F print which is file print, and we give it a file name. I'm going to put this in a temp folder, and I'm going to call it my find. So it's going to get all those files. It's going to send them to the my find folder. Now we can do cat dot slash temp slash my find, and we only found one file. But it does, in fact, start with B. And if we do an ls dash L for this, We get base.pp that meets all of our criteria. So it's a large file. The file name starts with B. It's more than 100 KB. And that was the only file that we got sent to this folder. So in real quick summary, we learned a lot about the find function today. Uh, we learned how to use the min depth and max depth function. We learned how to use a min, c min, and m min to find the time that a file was accessed, changed, or modified. We learned how to use the dash size function to limit which size files we're interested in, and the dash name function to put restrictions on which names of files we get back. The type function so that we can limit whether we get file type or directory type. We learned how to use not, and, and or features to add different search functions. We learned how to use the dash exec option so that we can feed the output from the find function into a ls directory and get detailed output back. And we learned how to send the output to a file. I'd love to hear your feedback on this video, so if you have any comments, please leave comments below. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and I'll try and do more videos like this. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching. <laughs>